Can I just say what will happen now? After the Prime Minister and the party leave for a short tour of the school, uh, um, the, the children will then immediately go to the places in the classrooms that the Prime Minister and her party will be touring. I think the Prime Minister and the, uh, the principals will just wait for a moment to get you to your places, and then the tour will take place. Those children who are not involved in, in the classrooms, if you'd uh, remain here for a while, and we'll talk to you later, and if, would you then please be seated, all the guests and the parents, because we're running a few minutes late, if anybody then has to leave before the party has returned from the tour, then we do understand. Shall we now pray? Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this special day in the life of our school and for all your provisions over many years. We thank you for all the children of this school with their life, enthusiasm and energy. We thank you for all who work and serve among us, principals, teaching staff, administrative and domestic staff, and for the many whose support and goodwill as parents and friends have given much encouragement. We thank you for the past history of these buildings dedicated to your glory. And now especially we thank you for this new chapter in their life. Oh, Father God, we come before you today with thanksgiving, but also in humility. We acknowledge that together with all wisdom and knowledge, all that is good and right and true comes from you. We dedicate this school afresh to you and your purposes, asking for your guidance and blessing now and in all its future development. We ask that these buildings shall be marked with a sense of your protecting presence, that your blessing may sustain an atmosphere of peace, caring, and contented discipline. We ask that each generation of children should experience the special joy of growing in wisdom and their understanding of life based on your truth and your ways that each one shall be enabled to reach the full potential that you have entrusted to them, both for their own and for others' happiness. And we ask that all who teach, administer, and care in this place may with a united vision and a spirit of service receive your wisdom, patience, and love in all their work. Therefore, Almighty God, receive our thanksgiving and the renewed dedication of our lives to the tasks that lie ahead. As you have given and provided, so may all praise return to your glory and honor. For this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Savior. Amen.